Hey, what's up everybody? This is Shannon here with Back to the Cardboard, and thank you for joining me today. Uh, as you can see, I'm outside here in South Central Kentucky. It's a beautiful 71, 72 degrees outside. The wind is blowing through the trees. There's a little slight nip in it, which is nice. Um, it just means one thing that, yeah, fall is coming, but it also means the end of baseball. Kind of sad. Um, I think there's like 20 games left, maybe, in the regular season. Um, and as usual, my Cincinnati Reds are not going to make the playoffs. Nope. But, like a typical Reds fan, I'm already excited for next year. So, maybe something will change. Maybe. Maybe not. But anyway. I've got some really cool baseball cards I want to share with you all today, and one really, really big. Uh, he's not a Hall of Famer, but man, he's putting up some Hall of Fame numbers this year. Well, last year too, for that matter, but let's take this camera inside and take a look at some really cool baseball cards. Let's go. So I wanted to start out by sharing these cards here with you. I've been meaning to talk about them. In recent episodes and have forgotten to slip my mind uh, these are the art cards from uh, Scott over at Reindeer Studios just amazing artwork um, if you want to see it being created can scan this QR code here on the back and it will take you to his uh, YouTube page where he created this card and all of them have that uh, QR code on the back which makes it really cool really cool stuff here's uh, George Britt um, these here, these cards are um, limited to 25. I think he's recently gone to limit of 50, but still yet, that's that's awesome. Uh, pick them up because they are just just awesome, awesome artwork. Uh, of course, this is Paul Skeens, probably this year's National League um, runner-up to the Rookie of the Year, which will be, I think, Jackson Merrill, but could be surprised. But go check out. Scott over at Reindeer Studios. You will not be disappointed in his artwork. And to plug his Etsy store, check it out as well. You can find all of that on this YouTube QR code there. Scan that. It will take you to YouTube. YouTubes. And you can find his Etsy store from there. I'll try to put it in the uh, description uh, if YouTube will let me, but check out Scott over at Reindeer Studios. You will not be disappointed. And I picked this card up right here. This is the 2018 Topps Archive of Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, awesome looking card. Got the rookie symbol on it there. Um, of course, he missed pretty much the entire entirety of the season this year, but his cards, along with Juan Soto, I don't know what it is, man. Uh, his and Juan Soto's cards are just, like, stupid right now. I mean, like, stupid cheap. Uh, these guys, Soto, the year he's having, if it wasn't for the judge, he would probably be the MVP in the American League this year. But check out uh, Acuna Jr. and Juan Soto's cards right now. You, you won't be disappointed in that either. I guess most of you probably already know that. And then... All right, I've got um, some cards here that I'll share with you real quick. This is an 85 Tops Pete Rose. This is going into my PSA Master Registry. Uh, it's an 85, 85 manager card, but this was really the last year that he, he was a real player. Um, 44 years old in 85, had over 500 plate appearances, so... Uh, he didn't just set the bench and make out the uh, the lineup. He actually played games, and I think he ended up with close to 120 games that year. So uh, he did play quite a bit in '85. The next card I've got is an '83. This is come. This comes off the uh, Topps sticker box hand cut card. Of course, the back here is is blank. And then this card here. This is a 1986 Texas Gold ice cream cards commemorating uh, Pete's accomplishment of breaking Ty Cobb's hit record. You may want to take a guess at that number. 4,192. There's the back of it. 
Texas gold. These are kind of these are kind of hard to come by, to be honest with you. And then I want to take a break right here and give three shout outs to three great channels. All three are Reds fans, believe it or not. Surprise, surprise. The first one I want to shout out is Jeremiah over at Love Truth. The name might sound familiar. Uh, if you remember, JY Sports Car Guy, same guy, same great channel, just under a different name. It's called Love Truth. Uh, the next guy I want to shout out is Dave over at Peacemaker Cards. Great guy. His amazing bench collection. Go check him out. Uh, Reds fan like myself and Jeremiah as well. And then Rob over at Cash Cards. Rob Cash Cards. Amazing guy. Amazing channel. Some great Reds cards. Uh, baseball cards in general. All three guys are great. All three channels are awesome. So go check them out. Love Truth, Peacemaker Cards, and Cash Cards. You won't be disappointed. All right. Be sure to check those guys out. Now, Second half of this video, let's look at this 1982 Topps Ken Griffey. The dad, not the kid, the dad. Nice looking card. Got that kind of a mischievous smile there on his face. And then we got another 78 Ken Griffey. Nice looking card. Then we got this guy right here, the 19. 85 tops dave concepcion man should this guy be in the hall of fame or what i mean check out his numbers five-time gold glove two-time silver slugger two-time world series champion of course uh just uh, an amazing glove an amazing bat uh, and a big reason why the reds brought home two world series champions back to back here's his 78 card man i love this card i love these 78s the all-star cards with the red white and blue badge down there in the bottom right hand corner Concepcion, once again, probably the greatest shortstop of his era. I'm talking 70s, uh, early 70s to, well, the whole decade, really, um, before Oz, Ozzy Smith, the Wizard of Oz, came along. This was the man. This was the premier shortstop in the National League, no doubt about it. All right, last but not least is this card right here, the 2018 Panini Flawless. Autograph of Aaron Judge. Man, I love these. I know, I know they're not a licensed product, uh, but you can't really tell it on this card, the way he's turned. You've got that big, broad 99 in your face. You can't really see the front of his helmet to know that there's not an emblem there. So um, that's pretty cool. This is a memorable marks talking about his 52 home runs in 2017. Or 50, did I say 52? 52 home runs in 2017. Uh, he's currently on pace. Well, he's going to break that for sure. Uh, it's going to be close on the 62 home runs. He's got 51 right now with about 20 games to go. But man, not only is he hitting bombs, but he's hitting for average as well. Over 320 at the plate? Come on now, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hardly ever strikes out. Uh, I think he's got 120, 125 uh, RBIs. Uh, just an amazing bat this year. Probably the biggest bat <laughs> this year for sure. And, and maybe the last 20 years or so, I don't know. Uh, this this guy is just just remarkable. This is, uh, once again, the Panini Flawless. Uh, memorable marks numbered two, 210. But look at the shine on that, that badge up there in the corner. It's just a beautiful. Of course, yeah, it's, it's been authenticated by eBay. eBay, eBay. It's been authenticated, believe it or not. But man, look at that. My big pickup. Uh, probably going to be the American League MVP this year, I would say. Um, be him or Soto. And I, I can't really I can't really think that uh, Soto would get more votes than the judge for MVP in the American League. Of course, I would say Shohei probably has MVP sewed up in the National League, possibly. But this is the 2018 Panini Flawless autograph of Aaron Judge. Hey, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed those cards. And I hope you enjoy the remainder of this 2024 season, baseball season anyway. Just a few games left. And I hope your team is one of the few that can make the playoffs. My team's not, so that means there's just a spot, one spot left for you all. So anyway, thank the Reds for that. Anyway, that's all I got. Remember, 
collect what you love and love what you collect. And until next time, guys, peace.